are on Appledore Island right now. It is a 100-acre island in the Isles of Shoals in Kittery, Maine. The Marine Lab actually started in the 20s by a professor at UNH. And then in the 40s, the military kicked them off so that they could have the island to make sure that no subs came into Portsmouth Harbor behind me. Um, after that, the island was quiet for quite a while, and then some professors who were working at Woods Hole from Cornell University, they were over on Star Island teaching a class, and they saw that Appledore was abandoned and potentially available. So they moved over here in the early, well, late 60s, early 70s, and that is the start of Shoals Marine Lab. Right away, UNH joined with Cornell in the formation of the lab, and it's been that way ever since. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So one big misconception about Shoals Marine Lab and Appledore Island is that we're closed and we don't want people to visit us. That is absolutely not true. So the public can come here in a number of ways. First, there are uh, guided tours by UNH's Marine Docent Program, and they do two tours. They have a garden tour, which focuses on Celia Thaxter's garden, and the second one is an island walking tour, which focuses more on the natural history of the island. We also have adult and family programs. So in August, most of the students need to get back to their home campuses. And that is a beautiful time of year. The weather is great. It's really quiet. It's spectacular. So we do adult and family programs, specifically designed for children to explore the intertidal and marine science, to the human history of the island, Celia Baxter fans, Art Child Hassam fans, art fans. We have art programs. And we also have uh, a program blending food, culinary experience with ecology. So maybe the greening of your culinary experience. To learn more about our adult and family programs, public tours, and other special events, please visit our website at shoalsmarinelaboratory.org.